hi everyone thank you for tuning in today's video i am sharing with you how to make the perfect coated peanuts i will be using raw peanuts i'll start by picking out the broken ones and dirt from the peanuts once the peanuts are clean add salt add hot water to blanch the peanuts give it a stir leave the peanut to sit in the hot water for five to ten minutes after five minutes pour it through a strainer to strain it Transfer the blanched peanut to a tray. And spread it out. I'll be putting it outside to dry for about an hour. After one hour of drying the peanut outside, this is what the peanut looks like. The peanut is nicely dried. I'm going to set this aside and then we'll start the next process. In a bowl, add flour. Powder milk. Grated nutmeg. Salt. Mix the dry ingredients together. And set that aside. I'll be using eggs. I have the eggs nicely cracked. I'll add sugar, vanilla extract. You can use any flavor of your choice. If you don't want to use eggs, use water to mix the sugar and the flavor. I whisk them together and I'll set that aside. It's time to coat the peanuts. I will transfer the peanuts into a large bowl. Add some of the wet ingredients. Mix them together. Add some of the dried ingredients. Move the bowl round to coat the peanuts. Go through the peanut and separate any one that sticks together. Add some of the wet ingredients. Move the bowl to coat them. Add some of the dried ingredients and move the bowl around to coat them. I'll be coating the peanut for about five to six times. I'll go through them again to check if anyone sticks together and then separate them. Add some of the wet ingredients. I'll use a spatula to mix them together. At this point, they start to get really sticky together. Then I add some of the dried ingredients. Then mix them together with a spatula first so it will be easy for me to move the bowl around. Then move the bowl around to coat the peanuts. Go through the peanut and separate any one that sticks together. Add some of the wet ingredients. Then mix them together. Then 
add some of the dried ingredients. I will use the spatula to mix them together first so it will be easy to move them around in the bowl. And then shake the bowl until the peanuts are nicely coated. Separate any ones that stick together and at this point the peanuts are properly coated. I will transfer it into a strainer to remove any excess flour from the coated peanuts. Shake the strainer to get the flour out. The peanuts are nicely coated. I will set that aside. Next, add some oil in a pan and start heating it up. I'll check the oil temperature by dropping one piece of the coated peanut. Once it goes up, that means the oil is hot. Add the coated peanut and fry them on medium heat. If the oil is too hot, the peanut is going to be cooked outside and inside it will be uncooked. From time to time, you have to keep stirring in so they can fry nicely without getting burnt and they will have a uniform color. I'll keep stirring it until they are golden brown. And when the peanuts are golden brown, they are ready. I'll remove them from the hot oil, transfer them to a strainer that is lined with paper towel to take out any excess oil from the coated peanuts. So you want to remove them from the oil, a shade to the shade that you are looking for because the peanut continues to change color even when it's out of the hot oil. I will repeat this process until I am done frying all of the coated peanuts. The coated peanut is ready. Spray it out and allow it to cool down completely before storing it. I have the peanuts nicely packaged in these little bags. I will seal them and you can do this for commercial purpose and you can also give them out as a gift just look at how beautiful this coated peanut looks they are crunching outside and crunching inside and they tasted so so delicious you can also store them in an airtight containers and this can last for months Thank you all so much for watching. Remain blessed and I will see you in my next video.